time, the guy said, Bola Hametinubu is implementing two budgets. There was no time. At no time did I say Bola Tinubu was biased against the North. The House of Virgin is there. At no time did I say Bola Tinubu is implementing 25%, 25 trillion budget. The House of Virgin is there. When this interview became a national issue. Most of the commentators through the social media thought I was speaking for and on behalf of Northern Senators. I don't speak for on behalf of Northern Senators unless I've been told to do so. The interview I had with BBC was never an interview for Northern Senators Forum. It was an interview for myself. I don't want people to castigate them. I want people to castigate me as a leader. I want to make sure that I shield. I want to make sure whatever happens, let it happen to me. And that's why I said, please, shut my phones. I will address the press on this matter. First and foremost, you see me here, I'm not representing the Northern Senators Forum. I don't speak for the Northern Senators Forum. The interview I had was in my capacity as a senator and as an opposition senator. It has no bearing at all on the Northern Senator's position on any matter. Everything that you had in my Hausa interview has to do with my personal perspective. Yesterday, I was confronted by a very harsh <coughs> press release from an individual whom I have followed personally as a journalist for close to 30 years. I've been following bios on Anigas write-offs for close to 30 years. And I have no doubt bio was one of our very best. So I was really surprised. The bio that Nigerian knows and bio of all people will come out with a press release against my person without even understanding the subject matter. First and foremost, I never granted my interview in English. The House of Virgin of the interview is here with me. Now, unfortunately, those who carry the story to Bayo did it with the sole aim of tarnishing my good name, and Bayo went to the extent of calling me a liar. I'm not going to join issues with him on the aspect of calling me a liar. But I would like to report to you, members of the Niger uh, National Assembly Press Corps, Bayo did not listen to my Hausa interview. Bayo did not get a good translation of my Hausa interview. So I, I see myself as a nationalist. But anybody who wants to tag me a regionalist, a regional back, let him do it. But the facts of the matter speak for themselves. And gentlemen, I'm not here for any other reason, rather than just to clear to you this ambiguity. I have the house of text, full address, 
full speech. Full out of speech. Like I said, I talked about the possibility on what is happening in Plato, in Benway, in Casino, and in Zampara. And I also made the assertion that I will not be surprised if tomorrow we woke up, some people have hijacked Katina out of Nigeria. It's here. And I said also about Zampara. It's all here. It's a state of the affairs of the nation. It wasn't a budget matter, but a budget issue came. And I explained fully why the budget issue came and why I did what I did. And you could see, I switched off all my hands this morning. I don't want any northern senator to come here. If it is a cross, I have to carry, I'll, I'll carry it. I'm not afraid of anything, anything. I believe in one God, and I believe power is transient. I believe what we are doing, all of us, is temporary. I'm not scared of whatever you hear. I'm not scared of any issue like suspension. I've been out of the Senate for eight years. And people had to force me back. It's not an issue. Some of our friends were removed by tribunals. They're living their lives. If because I said what I would say, if because I said what I, was, what I said, then I'll be suspended. So please be it. It will be an honor. And for me to be suspended by whatever body was teaching as a parliamentarian, it will be a very great honor. I'm happy from the press release they said I'm a ranking senator. There's no way. What the president proposed to the Senate are proposals. Whether the Senate passes is appropriation. There's no way I'll talk about 25 trillion and 28 trillion. The president has no powers of appropriation. It's even a misnomer, gentlemen for the executive to tell the National Assembly members, we are bringing a budget and don't touch it. It's a misnomer. The Constitution is very clear. And who has part of, of appropriation? I couldn't have said what they have suggested. And there is no way a president will implement budget that is not passed by the National Assembly. 